grandma's here and uh, she's brought us up some seed potatoes but they're just um sort of chitting shop bought potatoes white potatoes main croppers sort of like a baking potato size so we're going to plant those in but by way of recompense we're going to give her a lettuce let's get a nice lettuce for grandma that's a nice lettuce and here's some snippers i'm going to snip that out give it to her now, as you may or may not know, the lady farmer loves peas, and so do the kids. They eat them like toffees when the, the pea pods are fresh. So, uh, this mm. is the pea corral that we created a couple of weeks ago, with the peas in. And uh, they seem to be really enjoying themselves in there, so what I've decided to do is build another one in the next bed. Now, what these were, were uh, from council flats that we're getting knocked down and inside the airing cupboards these are the shelves that are inside the airing cupboards so it's a similar sort of a setup to that those were the pallets or the sort of weak pallets that we we acquired for free and these are for free so uh, those two buckets and there's another couple there uh, were acquired by magical michael derbyshire from old mcdarby's farm and they were just dumped um, there was, a, there was a house down the road where they were doing uh, marijuana growing and the coppers raided it and uh, obviously these are the buckets from that so um, we're using them because they're decent buckets those are good buckets when we grew the onions in the Tesco cut flower buckets over winter we've got the, uh, the growing medium that's left and that's onion root that's in the base of them so what we're going to be doing there, uh, we're not going to waste the compost, we've just half filled those with those, uh, the, growing, the growing medium from the onions. So that's half filled the bucket and we're just going to top it off now with, uh, with compost. I've got some uh, clover compost there, but I'm also going to add in, because I've got it, I'm going to add in some 6X, which is a powerful, uh, a powerful sort of fertiliser just to reinvigorate the soil before I plant the peas in these peas to be precise because if I don't get them in they're going to die as you can see we're getting the yellowing around the base and that's because they've been uh, left in the trays for too long so they definitely need to go out well I've got the tin snips out I'm going to make a couple of tubes there for the for the peas so we've snipped down the chicken mesh about 14 inches uh, as a cut off and then all I've done is because I've snipped them down the middle with the excess wiring or the excess yeah wire I guess isn't it is uh, wrapped it around so that it binds together and forms our tube and that's going to be put into the bucket now so there we are that's part buried into the uh, soil, only about three or four inches. And then I've just fed it through the top, one of the top cubes, if you like, um, squares, which are bent in a little bit. Put the uh, canes through, push them into the ground, and that's it's stable enough for what we need it for. I'm just going to plant up around then with the, with the peas. I'll probably get six of those in. Some of them are, have got two or, yeah, two peas per station but we should get them all into the and then uh, we can relocate them to the corral just need to water them in into their new home the next or the, the second pea corral just closing up Brad's cage Have to put everything else away. Okay, just water up. The jobs are good. Mm. 
So yeah, both corrals, one corral, two corral. Um, with the other two that I've got left, I've got an idea for those. Those shelves. So this new Brassica tent that we're building, I had started to sort of break down the pallets and make a bit of a gangway for the middle of it. But I might as well cut those in half and use those instead. Hmm, I might do anyway. When you've got an allotment, the idea it is you don't spend too much money and you get great results from your vegetables. So that's what we're going to be doing as much as we can. Reuse, repurpose and recycle. That's the way forward for the growers revolution. And uh, yeah. So keep growing with your heads down. As it says up there. All of those black fly are dead, by the way, as well, on the uh, on the broad beans. Just checked them out. And so the... Uh, this is not a paid promotion. But this stuff, the SB Plant Invigorator, as recommended by Simplify Gardening's Tony O'Neill, does work. And it's totally environmentally friendly. There's nothing in there that uh, that's a nasty, and it's a pesticide and growth stimulant. So yeah, it's working. It's doing the job. In fact, it's helping with the leaf curl by the look of it on the on the uh, tomato plants. But uh, anyway, we'll catch you later on, boys and girls. Have a great week. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. I'm over in Harrogate tomorrow, surveying. Uh, actually, auditing tomorrow in Harrogate. So if you're over that neck of the woods, you might spot me. Right, I'll see you later on. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.